Man, what's up with you? Man, we on there, Muzz. You look like you've been lost. I see you been in that corner two times. You must have been looking for me. Here I go. Damn, that seat laid way back. You must be talking to a tall dude, in it? You got a boyfriend? Hey, Pretty Girl Club. Sorry I've been MIA. I've been under the weather. I, I think I caught bronchitis. I'm not sure what this is, but my whole entire neighborhood has it. And it got me on the bed all day. So I apologize for not making any content. But the show must go on. So I wanted to give you guys a quick one today. I wanted to talk about all these men and how they have no chill. No matter where you are, they'll hit on you anywhere. I got hit on last night. So you guys know I work the graveyard shift, right? So this is like 3 in the morning. And I don't get off till like 11 a.m., right? But... I got off early this particular day because I wasn't feeling good. This was like the beginning of my sickness. I've been sick like for a couple of days. So this was like 4 a.m. And it's still dark outside, right? So I'm driving home, just driving home at 4 a.m. And you don't, for, okay, first of all, my car has tent on it. So I don't even think people can see inside of it already, even in the daytime, because my tent is that good. But I don't know how this guy saw me anyways. There was this, I think he was Russian. This Russian guy. I was at a light waiting for it to turn green. And this guy is trying to tell me to pull my window down. And I'm like, okay. I thought something was wrong with my car or something. The way he was doing it. And I was like, yes. <laughs> people, even in California, a lot of people be wanting to try to sell you stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. People be trying to sell you stuff even while they're driving, I swear. So I'm like, is he trying to sell me something? Is something wrong? So I'm like, yes, but I have to be careful because it's 4 a.m. And he's like, you are so gorgeous. I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking to myself, how, first of all, how can you see me? Because I had to roll my window down. I have 10, and it's 4 a.m., so it's still dark. I don't know if you can see me because the light was hitting the windshield and I don't know how the fuck he saw me, but he saw me and he was like, you are so pretty. Do you have a boyfriend and all of this stuff? I'm like, <laughs> I do have a boyfriend and stuff. And then, and then when he was like, he was real cool with, with it. And then, when he drove off, you know how boys like to like show off when they have a cool car. And he like roughed his engine all hard and drove away all fast. Like he was showing off. I was like, boy, bye. <laughs> But it'd be the most random places. Another place happened at the, it'd be like the gas station. I'd be pumping my gas. And I'd be thinking I'd be looking a hot mess that day. Because I literally probably just threw on a hat or something. Because I just went to Walmart to grab some dog food real quick. Um, and he, this guy, I don't even know where he came from. Across the street, I think. Because I was at a gas station. And I remember seeing him when I pulled into the gas station on the other side of the road. And then I'm pumping my gas. I'm having a hard time with my pump, so I had to switch pumps. I was having a really hard time, and this guy gonna come up to me, and he asked me, what's my name? Am I single? Do you have a boyfriend? You know all that stuff and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm trying to deal with my pump having issues, and this boy's in my face trying to ask me about my number and try to hit on me and stuff. I'm like... I don't got time for this. It's hot. I just want to get some dog food. <laughs> and this is just a quick side note for the men that are listening. I know in my last video, men are like, well, we're never supposed to hit on you guys. It's not about... <laughs> we're not irritated with y'all hitting on us. It's how y'all hit on us. It's like chivalry is dead. For real. Men don't know how to be gentlemen anymore, and that's really the problem. It's how y'all approach us. A lot of men these days don't know how to approach women, so it just comes off either cringy, weird, or, I don't know, creepy. <laughs> a lot of men don't know how to approach a woman anymore. You gotta be a gentleman. You gotta be smooth. You gotta be yourself, first and foremost. And if a, woman, a female's not interested, there's a reason for that.
You just gotta accept it and move on. And that's just a quick side note. That's all I really wanted to say. Because in my last video, men were talking about, well, when are we supposed to be able to hit on you guys? If you, and I'm like, it's how you do it. It's all about how. I remember growing up, men back in the day, chivalry wasn't half, it wasn't dead yet. So I remember growing up seeing men treat women like ladies. But it's like my generation, I grew up and <laughs> it's just a different breed of men these days. That's all it is. But yeah, this is a quick side note. And um, it'd be the most... Guys will break their necks in their cars. If I'm walking on the side of the road, they will break their necks. I had a guy stop people behind him trying to get my phone number. I remember this like it was yesterday. This happened at least 15 years ago. And that was kind of one of my... I was. This was longer than that because I was still living in Japan at the time. But it was a black guy. And I had to have been... I was still in high school. I was in ninth grade at the time. And he was... I think he had to have been a senior maybe. Hopefully he was a senior because I was a ninth grader. <laughs> when I think back about it now... <laughs> I was drunk as hell when this guy tried to hit on me on the side of the road. He stopped traffic behind him. I was like, are you serious? It'd be the creepiest looking people. Old men hit on me at the grocery store all of the time. And it'd be old white men. And you would, if I was a sugar mama, I'd be straight. Or you know what I mean? If I was a gold digger type of woman and I was looking for a sugar daddy, I'd be in the money because old niggas hit on me just as much as the young ones, I swear. I'm just not interested in that type of stuff. How are you? Fuck you. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> old men, you know, and it'd be, the, it'd be creepy old men. It'd be all kinds of old men. It'd be foreign old people, too. And the foreign ones are creepy with it. Y'all ever go to 7-Eleven and have an Indian person hit on you? <laughs> it's weird. They don't, it's like the way they hit on you is creepy and cringy. Like, I remember this Arabian guy tried to hit on me at the 7-Eleven. He was like, I own the place. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Here we go with his shit. Because they always do that. It's the, it be the Arabian people, the Indians, Mexican dudes. And Mexicans, they really love us. They, they really love them some exoticals. Especially out here in California. I had some Mexican guys wanting to help me with my Uber Eats order when I was doing like Instacart and stuff. I remember I was in this random neighborhood. And just people just random, these group of dudes just randomly wanted to help me. And then they was trying to act all, like towards the end after they was done helping me, they started to act all like dudes how they act when they trying to get to, to you know, when they try to hit on you and i was just like i gotta go to my next order thank you bye because they was about to get extra i've had security guards try to hit on me at places where they're supposed to be doing security but they get distracted by me i had a dude i had a security guard at the hospital do that he went from inside to outside where I was because I was leaving the hospital but he saw me come in in the beginning and he had already had his eye on me so when he saw me coming out I saw he had his eye on me again and I was like he about to say something and I could just tell you could just tell when they about to say something y'all know what I'm talking about of course he said something when I went outside because he was trying to be slick with it like because he was inside and I was walking past him on my way back out and I noticed he I clocked him looking at me, but I don't think he even give a shit that I saw him look, you know, he was trying to make small talk. He was like, oh, hope you have a good day, and how was your visit, and he was just doing, <laughs> you know how they do that small talk thing, but then I saw him start talking and follow me outside, I was like, and then he did ask for my number when I went outside, of course, and I was at the hospital, I think I had COVID or something at the time, this was like two years ago. I'm just trying to think of the most random situations, but they it would be anything. They'll be on the job. 
Oh, y'all already know how that go. I'd be on a job when I used to work customer service. That used to be an everyday thing. I used to work at Walmart, McDonald's. McDonald's was crazy. Like, some people would come to that McDonald's just to see me, I swear to God. When, this was when I was in high school and college. I stayed there for a couple of years. I was the second window girl. And they always put me in the second window, so people knew me for being on the second window and the pretty girl at the second window. So, and I used to get shown every day by staff and customers. Walmart, same thing. Chipotle, the same thing. I worked there too. Even at Amazon, the warehouses, I think, are the worst because, you know, it's more male dominant. And I worked at Sprouts too. If y'all on the West Coast, I don't know if the East Coast has Sprouts, but it's like an organic grocery store. I used to work there every day. White men, black men, Asians, Mexicans, it don't matter. Young, old, it don't matter. Y'all, so today, and today, y'all can tell when somebody's clocking you. And I, I'm going to just be straight up. I think we have a new female manager at my job. And she has been up, not in a bad way, but almost like she's giving, she, I, she's starting to make me wonder, like, does she like me? Like, the way this lady is, she's always saying hi. She's always in my face. Like, I can't tell if somebody is gay or not, if they don't dress masculine. It's kind of hard to tell, but with her, I'm starting to wonder, is this manager gay? Because she's always smiling when she sees me. She's always asking me. She's acting like the guys. Do She always asks me for help. Do I need help? Um... Um, she's always trying to help me like the guys would, but it's kind of like, I don't know, her her vibes give, she likes me, like I'm not even joking, and it's the, it's one of the top, top managers, it's not no uh, supervisor or anything, this is one of the higher managers, and I'm like, does she like me, does she have a crush on me, she, it's very cringy when I come around her, she almost makes me uncomfortable, so it could be females, males, it don't matter. Pe- people hit on you anywhere, everywhere. I got hit on in the hospital before. I sick as a dog. Um, it don't matter where you are. If you're a pretty girl, if you're an exotical, you're gonna get hit on anywhere, random places, and that's just how it is. And it was shocking to me when I heard some people, some women don't even go through this. I thought this is was what females deal with, and till I realized there's this thing called film fem cells and they want this. I'm like, okay. It could be a little bit extra when it's every day. It can be a little too much sometimes. Overwhelming. Especially when you're in a work environment and all you want to do is work. If you're sick and you'll have staff hitting on you, doctors. I've had sergeants hit on me when I was in the military. It don't matter. If you're a pretty girl and there's guys around, I don't even care what status they are. They could be the top ranking managers. They're going to hit on you. They're going to give you cringy vibes like they want to sleep with you, I swear. Y'all ever met somebody who's supposed to be racist and they are attracted to you? (laughs) Oh my God. I'm going to make a part two for that one. But yeah. It's like they give, like, they're not supposed to be attracted to you, but they keep looking at you. I've had that happen a couple of times. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I just wanted to make this quick video just to give y'all a video because I'm under the weather, so. But, you know, the show must go on. But that's all I wanted to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are you guys' stories? Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to make a part two. And I'm feeling better, a longer version, because I have so much more to talk about about this one. <laughs> but have a great day, guys. How Toronto mans be trying to holler at every girl that walks by that? Not gonna lie, you caught my attention. Still, are you going looking like a dime piece like that? Um, do I know you? Yo, come chill out my crib. You know what I'm saying? You can ball up a spliff. You know what I'm saying? Sip on some honey.
I'm you good. Know? I don't even know you. Like you're a weirdo. Why are you moving like that, baby? Like yo, come back. <laughs>